Hello, this is Cray Hughes. This is an update on the Savannah Spurlock case. There was a court hearing today that shed new light on the investigation and some of the details that had previously not been known. Uh, WKYT has been doing some great reporting on the case and here is a clip detailing that information. Extra security in a courtroom filled with Savannah Spurlock's family and close friends as a police detective revealed new details on how Savannah Spurlock's body was discovered last week here in this community. The detective said that David Sparks told them Savannah Spurlock and other men went back to his home on Price Court in Lancaster. He said the others left, but before he fell asleep, she was making plans to leave his home. When he woke up, he said she was gone. Then flash forward six months to last week. Police talked about how a tip from Sparks' family led them to find a body buried 19 inches in the ground. A medical examiner would later reveal that it was Savannah Spurlock, buried doubled over with hands and feet taped together in several black garbage bags. The key evidence could surround a rug she was found buried with because police say Sparks was caught on surveillance video buying a very similar rug at Walmart after she went missing and in fact had texted his sister asking where she had bought a rug that was in his home. The courtroom was packed with Spurlock's father, other relatives and several friends. All right, so I think the key to what we just heard was the, the rug. Okay, I mean, not only did they find the body on the property, but the rug links him to the death early on. Okay, he was actually trying to replace the rug that he used to wrap her up with and bury her with a, a very similar rug that the, um, you know, when he texted his sister, he wanted to get the exact location where the rug could be purchased, and then that... Um, and then he went out and bought that rug so that nobody would be the wiser when they came to the house they'd see a similar rug all right now you wonder how long the police have had all that information i'm sure they've had the surveillance of the rug and the blood evidence that was found in the house i think they may have had that but they just haven't had a body to be able to prove anything and it's interesting that the sparks are the ones that turned in their own family member or at least provided the tip so i find that interesting as well um, so just as you if you remember on january 4th 2019 savannah spurlock here w went out with her friend to a bar after you know she had given birth uh i think to twins and she hadn't been out for a long time so her mother said yeah why don't you go out tonight and she went out with a friend and her and the friend got in an argument at the bar then the friend left her there alone then she took off with these three guys later in the evening there's only two guys here but there's a third person and i think this right here is david sparks and they drive off to his house at 2.30 in the morning, Savannah FaceTimed her mother saying that everything was going to be okay. And apparently she went over to their house, which is, or David Sparks' house right here. And they always claimed that they went to sleep and when they got up in the morning, she was gone. Okay, but we, we all know that was just absolutely bogus. I mean, who would leave a house in the middle of absolutely nowhere? I mean, look, look at this, if I pan out, this rural area. She just goes outside and starts walking somewhere. She didn't have her car with her. Okay, so now it turns out that shortly after that, so that the fifth was the to two thirty a.m. So it was very early in the morning. So that next day, he's out there trying to buy a carpet that matches the one that he had in his own house, and that's the carpet that she was found in. Okay, so she was killed at that point and wrapped up in the carpet that early on. Now, had, did he move her around while in that carpet once or twice? We don't know. Okay, but 
they did seem to indicate that she was buried in that location for quite some time all right now wouldn't it be interesting if the sparks family members are the ones that actually smelled the decomposition and turn that in we were told but in the rumor mill that so often prevails in these cases that a neighbor smelled the decomposition but it sounds like the tip was from one of David Sparks family members okay so that is the the update for now and man that's just brutal you know she's found 19 inches under the ground wrapped in a carpet a rug I guess from his house and garbage bags she was naked and her feet and hands were bound okay so this guy is he's a monster okay because you can't now claim accidental death why would you wrap somebody's hands up and feet up if you accidentally if they were accidentally killed and you already are wrapping them up in a in a rug all right so you're you're you can't even use the theory anymore well she died accidentally and I just I, I wrapped up her hands and I wrapped up her feet and then I thought well I'll put her in the carpet and you know there was something going on prior to that okay so this guy is toast all right so that's the update for everybody and until next time be safe out there